Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. This time I'm feeling like a greed mode run as a tainted character. So let's see who we might want to do. We could do tainted Azazel. We've not played him in a little while. Um, tainted Forgotten. Tainted Jacob. Yeah, let's do Tainted Jacob. It's been a long time since I've played as Tainted Jacob. We did have a really... That's not the right one. We did have a really close success as Tainted Jacob on Greed Mode prior. But I uh, I messed it up right near the end. So let's let's give it a go and see what we can make work. Um, From what I remember last time, we are very much looking for Melatonin. Uh, I start with a Holy Mantle. I'm not exactly sure why, but I would very much like the D6. That seems pretty good. To be fair... The Eternal D10 also seems pretty interesting. With a one... Do you know what? Hmm. I think early on the Eternal D10 might be... Might be real good. Hmm. I'm, I'm kind of feeling that. You know, I'm kind of feeling it. I've got an idea with that. Well, I say an idea. It's not really an idea. It's just that I'm going to use it and it's going to be good. I could stop walking into enemies that I'd probably help. Okay, not a lot of difficult enemies right now. We'll try and use uh, Jacob, uh, sorry, Ezel, where we can. But I'm not going to sort of worry about it too much. Dude, if I could just stop taking an enormous amount of damage, that'd be, that'd be grand. Because right now I am... Shitting the metaphorical bed. As for the question of the day, what is... Why? <laughs> why am... As for the question of the day, why do I suck so bad at this goddamn game? Okay, let's try and hold this together for the rest of the floor, because... We can do it. We can do it. I don't like Mr. Jumpies. Good, good. You're dead. Okay, get rid of the ones chasing me. I don't know if that rolling head can deal damage to me, but I'm going to try and kill it anyways. Because I feel like it probably can. Okay. We fucked this up a little bit. But we, we we shall prevail. I'm going to take this and see what's underneath it. Ooh, wow. <laughs> the game's been generous today. Well, that was pretty lovely. There is only two of them good. There's one dead. And... Second one dead, pretty much. Not quite. I thought it was going to be quicker than this. Okay. Back in here. Grab our key. Grab whatever this is. A soiled heart's pretty good, to be fair. To be fair. What are we going on in here? Oh, just an active item. It is, it is a book, technically. I should pick it up at least once. It's not really what I was hoping for. Right. Now we gamble on this, which is a big gamble. Okay, that was... that was splendid. I managed to do a lot of damage there. Gotta be very, very careful for this guy, because if he dashes, I'm kind of... kind of fucks. <laughs> okay, we got him. Cool. Okay. Uh, we take Reaper Buddy. And we get ourselves gone. Okay. Somehow managed to make that work. Somehow managed to make that work. Bit scary. But we're, we're, we're good. We're golden. Um, we got a golden bomb. Uh, technically we can get that later on, I guess. We'll grab that for now. And we will open this up. That's pretty decent. Um, and that's useless, but whatever. Right, so you might be seeing where my theory lies with the Eternal D10 here. So it could reroll enemies into real bad ones, but every single wave we get a charge of it. So every single wave we use it. Meaning every single wave we have a chance to delete enemies. Which I think is pretty good. 
also has the chance to make them into much, much worse enemies. But if they're much, much worse enemies, they hopefully won't be for long. Do you know what I am saying? It makes things a little confusing, but that's it's all part of the fun, I guess. I, I, I kind of... I'll be honest, it hasn't really worked the way I was hoping it would. Why do I keep getting a Holy Mantle, by the way? I think I have a mod that makes it so that Tainted Jacob's Ghost gets a Holy Mantle, and it's not it's not functioning as it should. So, yeah, it's, it's not really working the way I hoped it would, but it's it's kind of... In, what the hell are you? It's not really working the way I hoped, but it's, it's, it's kind of good. I thought it'd be deleting more enemies than it is. Let's say that for, for sure. We've got an enemy that drops us a soul heart. I can't be, really be mad at that. Oh god, I turned that enemy into a much, much worse one. Yeah, this is gonna be a weird run, but I'm I'm sticking to I'm sticking to the idea that I had originally. Whoa! He turned into a purple ghosty boy. That's cool. Okay, all good in the hood here. We got ourselves a lust, which I'm not that interested in. Um Stay in this room for now. Uh be best way to deal with this room. Probably like this. There you go. My boy giving me burn things constantly. <laughs> he had things spinning around him. I was just like, nope, they're different enemies now. Much worse for me, but it's funny for you. Just get rid of your kids. Sun card's very, very nice. I think I'll take that. Devil deal here. Um, while the Caprice is active, plus one damage um, speed blocks the first damage taken in a room. Um, reactivates in the next incomplete room. I guess I'll just take that. I don't really get it, but... Seems that I get damage or something. Seems good. Right. Grab my golden bombs. Grab my key. I think I'm probably going to do some re-rolling here. Don't be too much of a nuisance while I'm doing this, please. Um, oh, we did get a, a glass card here, which is pretty good. I think I'll grab the uh, the glass card, which I've, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Um, B1 plus C2. Wait, no. C... What? C2 equals B1 plus... C1. That's maybe good. I can't tell if that's going to be good for us or not. <laughs> I think that's going to be good. I think I'm going to do this. Yeah, that, that, was, that was pretty valuable, I'd say. Worked out pretty well. I'll just bomb this from now on. Get some extra stuff. I'll bomb this as well. One sun card. And a second sun card. Okay. Reasonably happy with how all that went down. Down we go. Reasonably happy with how all that went down. Yeah, de 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 definitely this Holy Mantle thing is, is reversed and not working the way it should. And in here we've got Loaded Dice. I do like Loaded Dice. There's no reroll in here, sadly. I think I'll take this just so I've got, yeah. The cheap items. Okay. My character is looking gnarly as hell.
Is my eternal dice using itself sometimes? Ugh! I've just realised I have panic button. Why? I don't want that. <laughs> I was wondering why I, like, every now and again it was just using itself. Oh god, we got some ri Why does this guy keep turning into the same enemy? I keep getting the same one dude. This tainted enemy. Really bad enemy for us to grab. Like, like same enemy again, Nat. Like, why does he keep re-rolling into the same guy? I need to kill him before I re-roll. Oh my god. I'm liking BFF plus Siren's Call. D same enemy again! There must be something about this floor because I keep getting that same dude. Well, this has been confusing in more ways than one. Barely know what's going on right now, but I'm holding it together, I think. Oh god, bicycle man. I wasn't expecting you. Oh god, I'm stuck. I don't even know where Tainted Jacob is. He's like very secondary to this whole experience right now. I mean, hit by all sorts of shit that I'm just not even seeing. There's cards here. Like, I, I don't know what's going on right now. He died, apparently. Did he? There's a lot of nonsense going on right now that's hard to figure out. Uh, right. Give me adjustment. Plus two bombs. Beggar, why not? Didn't mean to give you any money. Come in here. Like, dude, I need you to hit me. Uh. Thank you. Now I've just not got to get hit again while I use the shop. So just, just be patient, my lad. Okay, wait, there's nothing in the shop. That's fine. Okay. Leave this cursed floor. A lot of confusion going on there. A lot of confusion indeed. <laughs> right, back through here. We'll definitely take that. Um, don't think defibs is really worth it. What's what's with us not getting reroll uh, machines? That's, that's slightly annoying. Rubber baby. We'll take that. I don't know what this does, but I'll use it. Uh, not super useful in that regard, is it? Oh my god. Uh, I'm, I'm loving this chaos that we're creating right now. I mean, it's good because it does delete some enemies. It deletes a good few. But it, it can just create some really bad scenarios for us with some really horrible enemies. Just keep using it and eventually enemies will disappear. Some of them will get significantly worse, but most of them will disappear. It's it's kind of working out. I also don't think they retain their health when I chop them down to size. You see, it, 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 it somehow all worked out. By the way, if you're wondering why I took uh, Slick Spade over Pentagram, it's because it has the chance to give us money. You can turn enemies into into this and do that look. Beautiful. I don't know how I'm like still alive here. Okay, I did get hit, but okay, I see. That's that's where the Holy Mantle comes into it. It blocks, blocks the hit. Is that the Caprice thing, though, blocking the hit, maybe? I don't know. Whatever the hell that, that, that ring thing I got that was quality 4 that seems to do literally nothing. I, I've not really noticed it doing anything. It might be blocking hits. I, I, I really don't know. I've got to be careful because there's red poops about. There's a lot of red poops about. Okay. 
yeah. These guys are dying in a reasonable time frame. This has all been so confusing. I'll definitely take Brimstone, thank you. Hellfire might have been better, but I like Brimstone. Brimstone's good. Anyhow, uh, there wasn't basically anything in here for us, was there? God damn it. It's annoying. I guess I'll pop this. I don't know if any of these are tinted rocks. This one is. Thank you. Down we go. Weird. Weird run. But I'm somehow still alive on. E, I love Celestial Crown. Extra HP is never never a bad thing either. Finally have a reroll machine this time around. And it's necessary because our stuff was crap. Uh, electric dice seems interesting here. I think I'll take that. Actually, I'll take the 7 cent HP. Why not? I won't take 7 cent paperclip though. PhD, why not? Glitched crown? What the fuck? GMO corn could be really bad for us here because it could give us paralysis, so uh, we should probably hold off on GMO corn. Okay. So basically, my theory now with my new um, electric dice active. Is that it's going to get used multiple times and have an even higher chance of deleting everything. I have no idea what that was. I don't know why enemies are randomly doing that, but... Must be good. We don't really have a right lot of damage, to be honest. Why, why so many Sister Viz? <laughs> Can we chill with the Sister Viz, please? There's so many Sister Viz. God, this is so confusing. <laughs> A top hat. I'll take the top hat. Also, don't really know what's going on in this room either. So don't even ask. Give me the top hat back. Come in here. We do have Glitch Crown. I kind of forgot about that. Right, so you're going to have to not be a dick for a little while, my guy. While I pick out what I want here, so... I got prank cookie, that's what I wanted. Good. Um, then here... You can kill me, and I can grab... It's really hard to see with these massive fucking horns, I'll be honest. Guppy's collar. Void egg. Spirit. So we're looking for Spirit of the Night, which is going to be hard to pause on without this guy being a dick. Hey, that's what I wanted. Good stuff. Right. I, I want to take GMO Corn because it's damage. But it could give me paralysis and fuck me over so hard. I'm gambling, I'm gambling. It gave me paralysis, it gave me paralysis. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was close. Oh, melatonin! 
There it is, although it doesn't work on the boss, we figured that out before, so maybe maybe don't take melatonin. Um We should take Mask of Infamy here. Lovely. Oh, Mother's Love would be so good though. It's fine, whatever. Lust, Sun card, we want that, yes. Right, let's keep this wacky trainer rolling. Oh my god, why did it re-roll them all into the same annoying enemy? <laughs> there is so much chaos. Why does it keep re-rolling into that same enemy so often? It's very concerning. <laughs> this is just absolute lunacy. There's some enemies here I've literally never even seen before. I don't know what that, like, random brimstone bomb thing that keeps happening is. I have literally no idea, but I do like it. I haven't seen Dark Ezo in ages. Where the fuck is he? <laughs> oh, he's just behind me. Okay. As long as I keep moving in circles, he has a hard time hitting me. So that's what I'm going to keep doing. Ow. Oh, I got hit straight away there. Right, is there anything here that makes a lot of sense? Uh, probably either the occult, right? Can you fucking stop a minute while I grab this? Void bomb. Okay, so it's void bomb we need to go after. Hey, there you go. Beautiful stuff. Sun card is in our pocket. I got something there. Oh, Mother's Love, Mother's Love, Mother's Love. Are right, you come over here. Lock you over here. Mother's Love is after Spider Mod. Bandage Binder, Mum's Key, Mother's Love. So, Mum's Key. Mother's Love, good. Awesome. And at this point, I don't really care what I get, so... Just give me a mysterious gift, which gives me birthright. Ooh, what's my birthright do? Creating a shadowy clone. Why would I want that? Got the wooden dice, which I don't care for. Sprinklers in there. If I can get a penny. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hope for the better. There's a penny here. Okay, dude, Ezao, can you stop being a dick? Right, come over here. Lock you down again. So sprinklers after old dice sprinkler. Sprinkler. Cool. Let us go. I need my card. Where's my sun card? Sun card, just in case. And down we go. This has been absolute chaos. I've loved it. Oh, he broke my holy mantle straight away, the dick bag. I'm 
barely know what's going on most of the time here, so this is all a race against time. <laughs> I'm liking that I got Eye of the Occult, that was a, that was a good shout. Dark Izo is in the crib. It's all about just keeping an eye on him and managing him. Because I can brimstone from anywhere, so... Just keep moving. Okay, on to the second phase. Just keep moving. If I get hit by him, I just don't give a shit. It's getting hit by Dark Ezo, I don't want to see. I've got plenty of health to work with, so don't worry about getting hit by him. I've even got a Sun card if I want to use it, so... Literally health is not a concern at all. You keep moving, he never, he never strikes. Beautiful, we did it. That was splendid. I feel very, very happy. <laughs> what a run. What a crazy chaotic run. I hope you guys did enjoy that one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.